Meanwhile, on this end of the floor, Fordham shows a little matchup zone. Coach Mott said she was concerned about that as Kamara Johnson, the star freshman, rattles down a tray. Big sign for the Cavaliers getting some perimeter shooting. Got to get that in zone defenses, even if it's a matchup zone. Clark locates the open shooter. Johnson again splashes down. Yeah, you get the ball in the middle of that zone and you kick it to your shooters. Or you do a simple skip pass. Ten three-point makes on the season in the first ten games. Has two in the first few minutes tonight. Clark whips it inside. Taylor scores through the contact. Making smarter decisions, right? And she's eyeing the floor. She's seeing her cutter. And that's just a great finish. Holding off on some of those 50-50 balls, right? She goes all out for them and sometimes just winds up with one too many fouls. Brunel cans the tray. Yeah, this is a team usually shooting 41% from the field. Just not able to see it go through the net just yet. Here's an open look, and it's cashed in. Okay. It's McGurk. The Cavaliers are giving Fordham a dose of their own medicine here. Just getting up defensively. Olivia McGee, an island of space. Just wide open there in the corner, and that's what happens when you're playing that match-up zone. There are so, only so many spaces on the court. Nearly had five, McGee on the misfire. Flood all the way to the basket as the seas part for Flood. Four years with the Pirates. Another steal, McGee zips ahead, and the deuce. And Kidd and Lawson skies for the rebound. Great ball movement there. Now, Fordham is a team that's shooting 31% from deep. So if they're able to keep moving the ball, and Virginia answers, though, they said, we got it this time. Three, but four Cavaliers knocking down. And Coach Mox, after today's shoot-around, looked at her team and said, this is the final non-conference game. Let's make sure we celebrate that. Caden Lawson joining in on the three-point celebration. And Nybor clears. And this is the opportunity for them to get a shot in transition like they like. First eight seconds, it pays off for Donaldson. Caden Lawson unleashes the three, bottom. Amy Hayford in transition, the former Pitt Panther to Donaldson. 73 point shots on the season. She's made 25 coming in. Kamora Johnson, oh my goodness. Your team is clicking on all cylinders offensively. Defensively, you're in the passing lanes. And she's able to knock down all her shots so far. Mm. She is showing why she was a McDonald's All-American. Katie Pauley is in, and the line drive three is through. No surprise. She's only averaging about 11 to 12 minutes per game, but when she comes in, she's searching for that three, and, and her teammates are searching for her as well. Everyone wants in on the three-point party tonight. Flood. Great hands by McGurry. That's that defensive prowess that I was mentioning earlier. Three ball. Donaldson puts it in. Yeah. Flood. Blocked. Cameron Taylor with the denial. To her fellow freshman Johnson. Pauly, the sophomore, adjusts, whizzes her way into the paint and scores. Another finesse bucket, right? Clark alone for the jumper. Swirls off. Stick back, Taylor. Yes. I mean, would you think, would you look at that? When you're knocking down threes, your post player is able to get a little bit of a break. Inside, you have to make sure that, and Virginia's setting screens on this zone. So that's another layer because not only are you trying to protect your zone, you're also guarding someone in a matchup. Ooh, nice shot. Fading to the right. Well, we are so delighted that you've graced <laughs> us with your presence today on our broadcast led by producer Sean Fulton. Here's the three that's banked in for Taya Davis. Not oftentimes giving them a lot of opportunities to offensive rebound, which we've seen in this game. Well, it does create some driving lanes and the kick out for Donaldson. Nyborg to Davis. And she cans the three. Donaldson. Offensive rebound, Nyborg, a collision with Flood. McGurk, yes. 
Cavaliers came in last in the ACC in three-point percentage. A back cut and a wide-open layup. McGurk. Oh, the bank shot. It is open here in Charlottesville, apparently. Two-man game with Johnson and Clarkson. Kamora, the step back three. Why not? For her wide open shot, hand down, man down. Hmm. Flood answers on the opposite end. But, but that really is the story of this game. I mean, this is a team who also didn't have healthy players in the first few games of the season. So this is a team that's trying to get everything clicking at the same time while Kamora Johnson knocks down another one. Today's game, a lot more enjoyable. Virginia rides the momentum of 10 first half three pointers, and the Cavaliers roll over the Rams 82 to 56.